me just start tuning my hatch on her day, so. I this this morning. But my food is not ready yet, so. I just want uh, to see the bad thing is I deleted all these videos, so I feel like I've said this before, but. So this kind of. I was listening to Richie from Boston, and he said something about if you, if you're that weak-minded to commit suicide, it's like, ah, uh, weak-minded, I, I don't even get the society we're living in anymore, because you have all these people, they just, they keep dragging it out and dragging it out, because other people are paying for it. You know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't even survive if they had to do it themselves. You know, it just takes a lot of courage to do that, I think. And I was <coughs> thinking about the free will again and how... I mean, just, just for me, things would be easier to believe, I guess, if it didn't directly contradict itself at every turn. You know, first it was, oh, yeah, free will, you know, it's just a free-for-all, and anything goes, and whatever. And then the next press saying that it's all part of God's plan, it's all predetermined. <coughs> it's like, so then... So then it's not free will, it's, it's a, it's this line, it's this, you know, if everything's already, then how can, then there, then there can't be sin, then there's nothing, then everything is happening exactly like it was supposed to be. Then killers are just... You know, that that's what they were meant to do, and rip-off artists, and all these things, it was, it's like, well, why be mad, and then that's what they were put here for, I mean, I, it, none of it makes any sense, and, you know, every time, and I, I guess think that's one of the main reasons why I don't get along with people, because you can't, just have a debate. It's always, I, there was a quote once, I forget exactly. I read it off of things, so that might not have even been accurate, but it's someone that's double-minded, well, I don't know, getting better, they're an asshole, I don't know, whatever that quote is, but to just have one set or hive mind or my way or the highway or isn't that just being arrogant I mean it doesn't this it just means you can't see things any other way I mean I don't see how that's a virtue or a something to be proud of but like with Andrea Yates they'll say that kids that, you know, are killed young or whatever, that they go directly to heaven. Okay. So Andrea Yates kills her kids, and they're like, oh, she's a demon and devil. Of course, you know, if I had this with other people, I'd be like, well, you're defending Andrea. It's like, no, no, I'm not. You said, you said that if the, you know, because who knows, they could have grown up and been complete derelicts and degenerates and up to no good and just going wild and now they're going to hell so by your logic her condemning her soul to hell so her kids can get the get out of jail free card and that would make her the ultimate hero and they say that about abortion, too. They're like, oh, the baby's in heaven now. It's like, well, then if he's in heaven, then that doesn't mean he has to live in this crappy world with all the terrible experiences and everyone trying to step on each other's face to, to get a penny extra. 
Yeah, it was, then, then what you're saying doesn't even make sense, though. It's like, well, it doesn't have to make sense. Well, then if that's the case, then why the fuck are you worried about it? I, 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 and just whatever, whatever anyone believes, just... But it's not that way. They need people to agree with them because they're afraid that what they're saying isn't true. Oh, well. I just wanted to rant a little. It's a cold, rainy day, so it's hard to be in a good mood when you're doing that. Have a good one.